All right, back again. For some, it'll have been a few days. For me, it was five minutes. So as far as I'm aware, uh, only place left to go would just be to kind of swing over here. Uh, there's a door. Is it, hey, it's not locked. That's great. Uh, knock, knock, open up the door. It's real with a nonstop pop, pop, and sta stainless steel. All right, so yep, that... That's going to make for all the Dark Souls once I take care of uh, the big guy downstairs in a little bit. Still got some Kado. Uh, let's see. I found the Retractor. Got the Retractor in here. So I think we just have... I think the only Retractors remaining are going to be... Um, uh, there's, one, there's one level we still haven't had access to in the game. Um... Yeah, one, one level we still haven't had access to, which is behind a level 9 gate. And then there is finally going to be, I think, the experimentation room. I think maybe that's still one I gotta, whoop, uh, I gotta take care of the experimentation room, per perhaps. I think, maybe. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Either the experimentation room, because I got the lava ducks, I got here, I got the... Yeah, I do not remember what the other one was. Also, I'm just going to cheese this guy. I, I, I'm getting violator ammo all over the place. I don't care. Okay, you know, this isn't going nearly as, as well. Like, I don't know how much damage that was actually doing, but to me it wasn't that much. It wasn't nearly enough, in my opinion. Alright, there we go. We only need one more Dark Soul, baby! One more, and uh, we can we can get the Calabash, we can go to the Undercity, or whatever the hell the last location in this game is. Hey, so we're doing pretty good, if I do say so myself. Got everything but the Kado. So yeah, we are good. I just need to find literally one area that probably has lava in it I can go to. Uh, not you, not you, not you. Can't get to you yet. Uh, not you. 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 Oh, shit, okay, so I think I'm actually forced to... I think I'm gonna be actually forced to fight, uh... Probably Jack the Ripper. So, okay... I uh, wasn't expecting that because, realistically, I probably won't be able to get anything from the uh, the engine block. Because it's still kind of locked off for the most part. So I guess we're going back to to London to fight Jack the Ripper Dose. Jack Dose the Ripper. Yep. Hey, but at least now I can use the Shadow Gun so these guys will actually down easily. But then again, I do remember this place was super complex, and I'm literally just... I'm only just starting back here, near the, the plat, you know, like the train station or whatever. So it's going to take us a little bit to, to get back, or even find the guy, because I, I didn't even find the, the boss arena the first time around, so... Besides, how many... Uh, there's 15 Kadoo. No, wait, no, there's... Yeah, 15 Kadoo. So I guess we're just going to be treading back around old old ground again, I guess. Ah, well, them's the brakes. You know, at least now that I can take the enemies out faster, I can at least deal, deal with that. But I don't recall if i seen any, like, alternate routes. Like, I'm pretty sure I, for the most part, I was doing... It's, it's linear enough. There was that one part where I kind of had to end it. By the way, I don't know. Is this? Is, I don't know. If it's just the camera, but you like go in here and immediately like the camera gets a little weird. So it, it gives like a weird angle. I like that. Don't know if that's intentional by any means, but I kind of like that little weird thing. I remember going down there. Oh, also now that I can use the flambo down here, I can actually see, assuming I have mana. Yeah, I remember Jack. Did Jack attack us here? Or he he attacked us somewhere. 
I remember he just like ran out and he did that weird disappearing green thing. I'm gonna assume all the bo all the serial killers are gonna do that at this point if Jack was doing it. I can only imagine. Uh, shotgun ammo. I don't need shotgun ammo. I want violator ammo and mana and kado. That's what I want. Down Street. I wonder if this is actually a real life location, like in London. Like, I mean. I, if if not, it was probably based off of something. But I, I just like to wonder if this is like a real life location, you know? Yeah, this is a he attacked us from here, and I was like, hey, look at there, there's life, there's there's people outside of this whole game. They're obviously just like like I already said, they're just like a texture. But hey, you know what? It it makes it seem like this game actually has stuff going on outside of the game. Like the world is actually still going on, you know, in a way. Oh, that's not a door. Yep. Not really much else to say. I'm just going to be rambling on, I guess, for a little while. Oh, yeah, I remember I had to push this. Yeah, you know what? Uh, you want to know what's a really hit or miss food for me? I've come to, come to find out. Um... Uh, clam chowder. Clam chowder seems to be really hit or miss for me. Like, you know, like I don't want to sound basic, bitch, or whatever, and be like, oh yeah, you got, we want, you want a good clam chowder, you got to get the, uh, the Campbell's. Cause I mean, Campbell's is all right, but it's not like authentic. But I've had like, you know, like clam chowder from Panera. I've had clam chowder from several different brands, and some of them they really like to to put the dill. Like the potatoes aren't chunky; they're little bits, and they're not like. They're they're kind of like you, you bite into them and they're just they got like you know that roughness to them. I don't know how to tell which ones break or not. Okay, cool. You know they kind of got that chewiness to them, like they're not fully boiled or cooked through or whatever. Can I really not? I just want to see what's in there. Nothing. Nothing, right? Yeah, nothing. And somehow I jumped down here. Good lord. Well, I might as well kill the dogs. But yeah, it's just kind of like, uh, you get, they're really, you know, they're still hard, I guess. They're not hard, but they're still, they're not soft inside. They're, they're still got that like rawness to them. Yeah, rawness. And people like to put a lot of celery in there. They like to put a lot of dill. And I kind of think like, those are just fillers. Like, I just want, I just want the soup, the creamy soup. I want the potato. I want the clam, the seasoning, obviously. You, you can put a little bit of celery in there. You can put a little bit. Don't go crazy. I've even had some with onion in there, and those are pretty decent too. But just like, please, for the love of God, do not like go crazy on the celery or make it taste like it's a dill dill soup. Like, I like dill, like on, you know, like a... Okay, somehow we are... Okay, never mind. Like, I like dill. You know, when it comes to, like, fish and stuff, like, it's a nice garnish or whatever, but some people, like, apparently are like, hey, gotta, gotta make this taste literally just of dill, and I'm not, I'm not really a fan of that. Didn't mean to do that. More shotgun. I'm starting to run out of mana here, game. I would like some mana. I would really like some mana. Yeah, so that's kind of me, like... I'm not a soup like, you know, like, oh, I, I can't eat this. It's not not perfect. You know, I'm not, I'm not like that in the slightest. But when it comes to clam chowder, I really am kind of like I need a specific. I need specific parts of clam chowder to be right. I need the potato to not be raw. That dog was just waiting for me. I need a. Uh, you know, I need I need it to taste like clam. I want to taste the clams. I want to taste the soup. I don't want to taste, you know, just stuff that's not that stuff. Also, as far as I'm aware, it's like the only elevator in the entire game I've ever seen. Like, I don't think the game's ever had another elevator section. Oh, okay, now, yeah, this is this is where Jack ran at us at one point. Man, uh, give me some skulls. I just want some skulls, games. Give me some skulls. Oh, okay, so I think that's where I went if I wanted to continue. Otherwise, there's like another area over here. 
you know, I'm actually going to save it in case I choose the wrong place and or I run out of mana and can't see. Uh, yeah, let's see. What's what's this? Or maybe... Oh, no, I think this is the way I went, actually. Maybe. I'm not sure. Hey, there's some Kado in here, so that's a sign that I haven't been here before, which is good. Oh, what? Shadow Man, why are you shooting the rats for? What do they do to you? Finding a lot of health for some reason. I, I, why is the game giving me health? I don't need health. I want mana. I sound like a broken record, I know, but it's like, geez. Give me, give me what I need most. I have full health. I have more full shotgun ammo. I would just appreciate having some uh, mana. Oh, this... Okay, there's nothing else over here. Actually, no, there's this open part of this train. Hey, more Kado. Cool. Hey, halfway to the last uh, health upgrade. That's cool. Okay, I'm going to put that away because I'm just going to burn through the rest of it. Oh, hey, I just realized it gives me a little flashlight effect if I do this. Oh, thank God, mana. I'm not even, like, in fear of running out. Oh, my, there we go. A nice little mana stash. Now I can whip this thing out and not have a care in the world. It's like they bundled up all the skulls in just one area there. But anyways, yeah, I remember there was, like, one section in this where it's like, I, I was sliding down a thing and, like, I couldn't couldn't seem to make a jump or something, so I'm, I'm I'm not sure if that was even the way I was supposed to go, but here's here's hoping I don't get stuck like I did that one time. Wait, was there something? Oh, I thought that was a wall or something. Also, there was the, the start of this entire area I can go back to because there was like a lot of underwater stuff. That, I imagine, might lead me to the retractor or something. Yeah, this is the room I couldn't really progress further in, so... I figure we'll we'll make some progress here, hopefully. At least it's well lit. I don't need the flambeau for this area. More dogs. I gotta wonder, where do they get all the zombie dogs for? Because as far as I'm aware, uh, uh, so far the two, you know, lives... No, actually all three. Bayou, the Scrapyard, and now this. It's just zombie dogs everywhere. If you heard that, that was my phone going off. I got an eBay notification. Probably saying, like, hey, save $100 if you buy a $2,000 computer. And I'm like, I don't need that. That's not me. I'm not part of that life anymore. And by part of that life, I mean I have a working computer. I don't need one. Uh, more shotgun ammo. Uh, so, you know, we don't need that. So, yeah, basically, there's a jump. There's a jump here, unless I... Yeah. Is that? I can't tell. The, my, the depth perception is off again, so let me save it and out before I jump. Alright, let's try. Yep, I'm a genius. Turns out the whole time you could just jump on there. Like I said, I feel like they need to maybe uh, highlight the ledges you can jump on just a little bit for me. Because sometimes I seriously cannot tell. I'm over here thinking you got to slide down or something. It turns out, no, instead you just jump over to a ledge. Thank the Lord. For what? <laughs> I love when he says, when he just, like, they have sound bites of Shadow Man. I just love when they make no sense in the context of what just happened. Like, what are you talking about? Thank the Lord. I mean... I mean, yeah, we made some progress, but it's not necessarily, you know, not the only progress we've ever made here. Nor is that ever the hardest jump, if that's what he's getting at either. Definitely been some harder jumps. Hey, look at this. We're in, like, an old part of the subway now. This is cool. There's even a street lamp here for some reason. That's yeah, cool. I feel super exposed being wearing no shirt or anything, but uh, you know what? This is cool. This is pretty dope. Oh. Wow, thanks for telling me that, Shadow Man. I wouldn't have guessed otherwise. 
Okay, so I think this is the boss arena I fight this dude at. I'm not sure. I assume there might be a cutscene, but I'm going to save just in case first. No, there's still some stuff. Okay. Because I was going to say, I remember I fight Jack, I think, in like kind of a cramped area. I can't fully remember, but I mean, I got vi a violator, so hey, I'm not worried about fighting him. I'm just worried about the location. Yeah, you, I like how you can tell it's an old-timey station now because of all the... Well, actually, no, they still got a working elevator. Never mind. So I don't know what was up at that one section then. Let me out. Okay, so we're immediately given a couple of different places to go. I don't know which... Uh, this. Oh, I can push this actually. Okay. Sometimes I wonder, what what is this texture supposed to be? A window? I'm in a sewer. What is that a window for? Unless it's supposed to be like some underground city type of thing going on, which I mean, if that's the case. Yeah, actually, no, it might, yeah, it might be an underground city type of thing, actually, because there's spot street lamps. But there's like no doors into anything. So if like, if this is supposed to be like an underground city, there's like no doors implying any of this would be like a, a buildings or anything Oop, gotta put that away put the blicky away oh uh, got the stiffy uh oh uh, looking sussy uh i don't even know if that's part of a uh, takashi's six nine or whatever's uh rap oh that was pointless that was actually pointless i didn't get any could oh never mind i gotta do this that's why okay do they now? Uh, wait. Current events. Uh, I wouldn't say that, Shadow Man. They didn't seem to make the, uh... Whatever the Brit thing going on where they succeeded from... I, I don't know anything about that, actually. I'm just gonna cut it right there. You know, for, uh, for there being, like, 11 Kado still in this area, I am not finding any. Which is a little distressing for me when I have to come back here later. Oh, yeah, this ain't good. No, nah, this doesn't look good at all. YouTube, please don't ban me. Hey, at least there's a bed, though, the guy's living in. But at the same time, he's got flies everywhere. Are we certain he only killed a few victims? Because this dude's, like, got victims left and right. Like, look at this. Good lord. Jack the Ripper, you crazy. Crazy for this one, Jack. Mm. Hey, there we go. I was wondering where that would be. It's not underwater, so one more and I can get the other, uh, other, not retractor, uh, violator. Hey, there's, oh, I thought, I thought there was two doors there for some reason. I'm wilding out. More health. The, the one thing I don't need. Oh, yeah, this is just awesome. I'm going to save it here because this looks like it. What would be the point of this? Who who made this? Because this, this was definitely not Jack the Ripper as far as I'm aware. It was like, yeah, let's just put these huge-ass spinning blades here with no way across to the, uh, the door on the other side. Because you know, I, I, I was, it's, it's, when it comes to video games and architecture, that's kind of what I think is like, who designed this with just like a bunch of, like, who, who's like, yeah, this needs to be here. Although, okay, that, that makes sense. We could turn it off or slow it. Yeah, turn it off. But still, it's just like, you got to think like, one, one I always talk about a lot about this is Half-Life in uh, Mesa, Black Mesa. It's like, they designed a lot of it to look like it's it's hard to tr you know like traverse the entire complex like there'll be like rooms that are blocked off and you're like how how does a scientist get there like you'll be walking and there'll be like a huge area and it'll be like a little windowed off area you know like a research station or where they like observe from 
But then you look in there, and there's like no door, and you're like, how the hell does anyone get in there? Do they build the do they build the structure around the? Uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. Do they build the area around the scientists or whoever? It's just shit like that that always makes me just go like, this is dumb. Okay, a lot of ratty chans. Uh, it's still going deeper now. Uh, say some kiddo. Keep throwing kiddo at me, please. After this, I need... Okay, so there's six more kiddo. Can I... Will they... Will they be in a nice little area for me to find? I don't know. Hopefully. All I know, though, is if I... If I was just regular Michael LaRoe now... LaRue, whatever his last name is... Ja Rule... Uh, yeah, I definitely would be dead at this point, because there's no way he could breathe. He could breathe in all of this. Dude... Dude hardly can breathe... What are these? Supposed to be... What are those? The f Nice fucking model, I guess? I don't know. I don't know, but, uh... Base, base Michael, uh... The dude has, like, the, the smallest lungs ever. Like, he can barely hold his breath for, like, ten seconds. Shadow Man, on the other hand, the dude can do, like, freaking marathons. Oh, okay, here we go. Lara. Oh, man, I stole again his name wrong. Why is this shirt just open like that? If I blow you away, you pathetic little man. You may try to achieve that end, Michael Lawar. Lawar. You shall not find it a simple He crosses his arms, I love that. Hey, here we go, here's the good music. It's gonna play backwards now or something like that. Also, uh A Mary Kelly, hell yeah, bro. I know that reference. Wait, where'd he go? Also, this water is kind of deep. I know he goes, whoop! Hey, that, that's kind of, not creepy, but it kind of caught me off guard. Oh, yeah, he's like right there. How can you aim upwards, dummy? Oh, okay, now we just gotta flick him, flick him. There we go. Oh, she's not dead. You know, wait, wait hold on. A I'm doing this super dumb. There we go. For some reason, I hit. Hey, there we go. Deader than shit. And I also got another prism. Oh, but I was saying, uh... Two things. Why was his shirt open for? That looked just really weird. He's, like, just walking around with bare-chested, open shirt. And second off, uh, so he's talking about how he's like the messiah, he's the architect. If he's the architect, then how come he isn't the, the main, the ba the you know, the main leader of the five or whatever? Because uh, in the in the cathedral, as we know, when we were uh, in there, the cathedral, there's two on each side and then the, you know, the one in front of you when you first get there. And uh, he he's not the guy, he's not the, he, he doesn't have the biggest cathedral or whatever, you know, the biggest one or whatever. He, uh, he, he's off to the side with, uh, some, not that one. He's off to the side with some of the other guys. And it's just kind of like, I thought that was a little weird. Like, you think he, of all people, would be, like, the main guy since he built the asylum, apparently. And also now I have no idea where the hell I'm going. I might be lost again. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, that's how I activate that. Hold on. Uh, so is, yeah, who built this down here? Like, that's what I want to know. Like, this place is like, who built this? Where did they get the power from? Where did they... Ah, it just seems weird to me. So, let's see. We, Hey, we got a full wheel now. I guess I assume we probably have every collectible or whatever we're probably going to get. Uh, or about? I don't know. I, I feel like I have way more inventory space than I actually need in this. But, you know what? I just want to check around just a little bit more because... I feel like there's either some Kado or something I could probably get. Let's see, you do the right hand method where you keep your right hand. Well, actually, well, there's a barrel right there. Uh, nope. 
Oh, I just, I hit level 9. Yeah. Hit level 9, baby. But yeah, let's just kind of keep checking this out because I feel like there's some more stuff I could probably find. Or not. Maybe it just circles around and that's the one way out. Uh, does it? Okay, yeah, so that's the main boss area. I assume this is where I entered from. Mockle. Mockle of War. Well, how do you know my name? How do you know? How do you know my name? Oh, wait. He knows my name. Anyone uh, who doesn't recognize that, you're dead to me. Mm. It's not looking good. I don't think I'm going to be finding four Kado just in here, but I found some more Violator ammo. Yep, plenty of Violator. Violator! With these nuclear gaming skills, I'm a nuclear kick your ass. That's what I should have said to him. Michael, you failed me. You should have said you should have said a good one-liner to him. I mean, you called him a pathetic little man, but I mean, you should have said something like, like that. All right, so this will take us back to the engine block. But oh wait, hold on. Oh, I just realized there's a possibility I might be able to get some Kado in here. Hold on, wait. Here, light this place up. Because I was gonna say there's some barrels back here. Oh, you failed me. The scrapyard had a bunch of Kado back here. I feel betray everyone betray me. Ah, uh, well. This will take us to the engine block where I'll probably be able to get some more, kill some more true forms. Uh, don't need that anymore. Open up the doors or something because I know there's that one section where it's like kind of cut off from the rest of the uh, rest of the guys. What is he firing at? He's like just full on firing into like the walls now. Again, no Kado, no Kado here, but there are a bunch of Dark Souls to be had. Although now at this point, Dark Souls don't really matter because now that we have a, uh, now that we have all the uh, nine levels, we can pretty much just go fight the final boss after we kill all the serial killers and get the retractors and all that jazz. What's that dude just opened the gate? No, that okay. That opens a little door. Yeah, there there are no yeah. There's no Kado here. Kado. Caddo. Okay, so that's still locked off. I really gotta wonder, are these doors ever gonna unlock? Because, like, you know, this place is pretty, you know, I, I'm, I'm just hoping they unlock or something, because I'd hate it if, like, if, you, if you're like, oh, I forgot something over in this guy's thing, you gotta go to the location of each boss, go back in their little portal, and then it turns out, like, oh, no, it wasn't over here. It was at another guy's place. Like, they're all connected. I just hope that eventually they'll all open up to each other. Nope, this one is locked as well. That's it's a pattern I'm beginning to not like. But we did open up a little gate or something somewhere here. I believe I can fly. Alright, made it. Okay, this... Oh, okay, so I can open the door this way, but that doesn't exactly take me anywhere special. It just means I don't have to jump in that air duct again, so... Okay. Uh, something in there. Don't know if that's something I'll actually do anything with, but... Joke's on you, I can... Hey, okay, cool, I am fireproof now. I, I, I was hoping I would be fireproof, because I wasn't 100% sure, you know? Oh, okay, that's a thing. Jokes on you! I don't have to. I don't have to platform my ass over to you. Yet again, more vents. I'm running pretty short on this one, but I feel like I do at least want to get to the engine block or whatever. Uh. Okay. So I. Something down there. I'm, I'm going to have to call it here, though, because we're just not going to have enough time to complete this. But in the next episode, we'll do whatever it is, is down there. Until then, I'll see you guys later.